here are again some mushrooms that I just picked on the road to Siskola. So I just stop the car when I see a mushroom and pick it up. <laughs> so there is a lot of mushroom this year. There's the garden. And this way you can walk to my forest. I just want to see if there is any mushrooms because it's been raining so much. So there should be a lot of mushrooms. I can smell the mushrooms here. Oh yes, this is what I was looking for. There seems to be a lot of bolides this year. And this is that penny bun or porcini, but unfortunately this one is eaten already by worms. <clears throat> Too bad, let's see if there's more. Wow, this one looks good. Somebody already tasted it. Wow, this is a perfect example. And here is a smaller one. Unfortunately, even the small ones have holes. Here is one that looks like it has been stepped on, maybe. And here is another one. I have a feeling that all of them are, are like this. Such a shame. I think it was just too moist. Here is another one. The same goes for this one. Even if they're young and they look good on the top. Oh, there's a couple. Let's hope these are better. They look really good on the outside. I struck gold. Look at this. But even here it looks like somebody stepped on them. I think that the deer, if they don't eat them, they just run all over them. Look at this chanterelles. And they're hiding under the moss. I found this sap that looks like this. It has a huge foot and then the cap is so small. This is a penny cap. I found a couple of hedgehog mushrooms and a couple of slippery jacks here in the same place with the chanterelles. I will leave all these tiny ones to grow because it's just next to Siskola so I can pick them anytime. Here is a woolly milk cap. You see it has this kind of, that looks like wool here underneath. And when you break it, it has comes, this milk comes out. I'm not, I'm not gonna take one because you have to cook them before eating, even though it looks good. Maybe if there's more. And a puffball. Ooh. There really seems to be seps everywhere, but they are soft and, and worm-eaten. Look at the size of this one. It's huge, but completely worm-eaten. It's a smaller one. Here is a brittle gill. It's a yellow swamp brittle gill. And it belongs to the Rusula species. There is so many of them. These are also all worm eaten. Let's see how this looks. Good on the outside, not so good on the inside. I guess they are all the same. I believe that in Italy they even eat it when it has some wormholes, but I only take the clean ones. There is some velvet bolide here too. I 
I'm not gonna take it though. These become really dark when you fry them. It's too starred, so it's okay, but it's a little nibbled on. There you can see the garden. So this is literally how far I had to go to find these mushrooms. It's such an incredible feeling to walk in your own forest and pick mushrooms. Last year there wasn't any mushrooms, so I, I couldn't do that, but this year I can tell that this forest contains a lot of mushrooms. And it's a pretty old forest, the trees are quite tall here. It's a lovely day. Listen to the birds. And there's a lot of woodpeckers here too. There's a big tree that has fallen here. Completely cracked up there. Look at the spruce tree that fell here. Here's another tree that will be coming down anytime soon. It's completely dead. And also that one there behind it. There, it has no bark. That's an enormous back foot of a hare. There are plenty of predatory animals here. Wolves, lynxes, wolverines, um, foxes and also owls. There are some really young chanterelles and also these young pash mushrooms. They can be eaten, but I usually don't pick them. There's a whole cluster of some kind of coral mushroom. Here in Swedish we call it finger mushroom because it looks like a lot of fingers. <laughs> Many also there. I found a great spot here with a lot of chanterelles. This is also in my forest, but on the north side. There seems to be a lot of chanterelles here. I could see them from far already. And these are looking very clean and nice. Wow. The canopy of the trees is pretty thick here, so I can tell that it's much drier. Even the chanterelles were a little bit more dry. There's a lot of bridogils here, and these don't have any worms, so I take them. They are, you can taste them if they're, if they're peppery, you don't take them. If they taste mild, you can eat them. There are no, no poisonous ones at all. They come in all kind of colors. Here is one. They are really nice. Not so slimy. I found a bird massacre. A lot of plumes. There are a lot of predators in this forest, it seems. This is a nice hedgehog. Mushroom. This is a gorgeous fly amiata or amanita. They are poisonous, so you cannot pick them, but I think they're really beautiful. And there's another up there. Not such a bad hole after all. <laughs> I got plenty of mushrooms now. I'm reducing the mushroom here. I just mix it together, but not the chanterel. I had quite a few of those. The chanterels are waiting to be reduced as well. And I have this much more mushrooms that I have to reduce. And I already did one batch of these dark ones. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. Bye bye.